It's 616. Welcome back to Wake Up Northwest. In this week's Madeline Motivates, whether you're a business owner navigating reopening or a parent trying to set a positive example for your kids, we're all in a way learning to lead through crisis. With all that we're going through, it's clear that we need good leaders now more than ever. And that's why we have Jan McDonald, leadership consultant and coach on the phone with us right now to share what it takes to lead effectively. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, Madeline. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. So I have to ask, in your opinion, what are the qualities of an effective leader? So some good qualities of leading through crisis are you have to put the people first because the people have a number one priority. And actually, this is really easy because the number one priority for a good leader is always to put the people first. Mm -hmm. We gave up our rights to put ourselves first when we became leaders. It's all about how we can help, serve, and care for our team. Because if we don't put the people first, the crisis is going to loom larger in our organization. Right. And our, yeah, and our goal is not to just get our teams through the crisis, but to become better because of it. And that's a really good point. And so the second one is to be flexible. <laughs> Because crisis has a lot of uncertainty and change. So, like, when plan A isn't working, mm -hmm. we might need plan B or even plan C when we're leading our people through the landmines of crisis. Mm -hmm. We need to be adaptable to the ever-changing plans that tough times can bring. Right. Also, you also say that uh, leaders should use good judgment when communicating. What do you mean by that, Jan? So, less talking, more thinking. We need to communicate with good discernment. Because wise communication will lessen employee anxiety. Mm. And what I found is I really needed to approach the situation with empathy, put myself in other people's shoes to understand their anxiety. Right. And, and then maybe to provide timely information rather than waiting to know all the details because sometimes we don't have all the details. Mm -hmm. Especially with all that's going on right now, and nobody really knows. And finally, I love the concept of authenticity. When you say be authentic, it's a bit easier said than done. So how can a leader truly be authentic to the people that you're leading? So uh, this is my favorite one, and it's been the favorite one of a lot of people who've been through the Leading Through Crisis workshop, because people want um, an authentic leader more than a perfect leader, and that's good to know. Uncertainty is really okay, and we always tell the truth. We're not going to have all the answers, and we do need to let our teams know that. And we do give them the answers when we do get them. We need to help our teams understand that the solutions we have now may not be the solutions tomorrow. Yeah, very true. So really quick before we go, Jan, regardless of your title or your position, how can we all harness these characteristics and serve as effective leaders during this time? So um, we as leaders need to encourage others by our example, and that example is to manage ourselves well. So in my experience, leading myself is sometimes the biggest leadership challenge. I have mm -hmm. no problem telling others what to do. <laughs> but I need to manage myself well. And one last thing, as leaders, we are beholden to give the right perspective in crisis, and that is one of hope, security, and encouragement. No, oh, what great encouragement this morning. Thank you so much for your wonderful advice, Jan. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. It's been my privilege to share.